Okay guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm guessing this is not going to be the sort of video that I want on the uh, channel. But um, unfortunately it is what it is. And if you guys are seeing this video, then I have lost my driving license. Um, so basically, the, the whole situation is, obviously when, we, when the whole crash situation went with the old S3, um, there was um, some witnesses and CCTV cameras and stuff like that that seen how the crash happened and I'm assuming that obviously if you guys are watching this video it has um, caused me to lose my driving, li driving license as as well as most likely the um, other person involved as well um, so um, yeah absolutely guttering I don't know how long um, this is the day before the court date so I don't know how long or how it will go but assuming I've lost my driving license, I'll go ahead and put how long it is, <laughs> how long I'm losing it for here. Um, and yeah, uh, absolutely guys. But you know, living your life, the best situation, the best thing to do in these times is just stay positive and look forward to the future. So with that uh, said, uh, my future with the channel, um, will be I'm gonna keep the car and put on my driveway um, fully insure it and uh, maybe insure some of my friends or something like that maybe take it out now and then but um, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna finish it so um, yeah that's it guys um, that's the sort of update like I said I'm gonna go ahead carry on doing the mods um, I've even got these that we're gonna put in this video um, which is pretty cool if you have a pre facelift S3 um, we're going to go ahead and put them in today and I'll uh, continue this video off when I parked and everything ok guys so we're back at the house now um, this is the crash S3 which I've been um, continuing to strip off camera um, as you guys can see this is the whole rear subframe um, which I'm planning on <coughs> getting just this disc off I want to get the whole diff off I want the drive shafts um, and the rest of it is not really worth me keeping. Um, just the the, uh, the diff and the drive shaft is what I'm really after. Um, and maybe the shots, although, you know, they're not really my priority at the minute. My priority is to go ahead and get this off the driveway at the minute. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow, um, which is the court day, I'll be uh, getting this off the drive, I'm going to get it towed off the drive, I'm going to go, home, go ahead and go over it one more time, make sure that there's nothing that I want to keep before it's gone forever, um, which I will have to do today, um, but as far as I'm aware, there's 99 or 95% of it is literally um, ready to go to the dump now. Um, obviously the front of the whole car is out, the rear diff's out now, uh, there's literally not a lot left to take other than things like the stalks, which might be worth taking, but then again I've tried to get this off before and I can't seem to get it off, the brake pedal and the cylinder is behind there, which I've tried to get it off, I can't seem to get it off. So there, there's things that I could get off. Um, obviously there is still the roof liner, but I'm not gonna bother with it because I just feel like if I get a roof liner, then I have to get the, the back pillars and it's just, sometimes it's not really worth keeping some of this stuff. Um, but this is where I'm gonna be, be putting this um, if the worst comes to worst tomorrow. But anyway, it's not what we're here for. We're here to do a the last, <laughs> well, maybe the uh, last modification for a little while to this little beast, which I absolutely love at the minute. Look how gorgeous it looks. And especially on this like sloped driveway, look how low it looks. Yeah, it look, these things do look sick. But anyway, so the whole car's black. So because it's black, the only things is little things like this, which is like a, obviously it's indicator, but it's just like a silver background. And what I've gone and got is I've got some aftermarket indicators, which 
I think will go really well. I'm having my lunch with the black. So I'm gonna go ahead, unbox these, and then come back to you. Okay guys, so these are the new indicators aftermarket. They're just, looks like they're probably just the standard ones, but just spray the black background. Um, and I'm hoping that the ones I have in the car are orange bulbs because I don't see how this one would come out orange if it was just a normal one. Ah, like this, this is what we want. Perfect, so at least got one there. And not another one, but they should be on the car anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them off um, and then we'll go ahead and install them. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove the old ones. It's actually extremely easy. You get your cloth, you're gonna get a flat head on the end there. You wanna get it into the gap towards the door and then it should pry off one way or another okay that's not working the actual lens is coming off which is not what you want come on there we go so once you've got it out you want to give the exterior a little clean and then once it's off you'll uh, just straight out swap it over really simple really um, but as you can see I put this over there The bulbs are already in the socket, like that. So it's literally just a straight swap, and it's gonna look so much better. So here's the old one. Hopefully this is just a straight fit. Oh, perfect. And that clips right in with no issues. And then I'm gonna put that in. Uh, so it's this side first, and then push this side in, I believe. But that does not look nice, fitment wise. But we'll give it a go. There we go. All the way, come on. Come on, beauty. No. Oh, it's not really having it, is it? Um, let's try the other way. Come back to you guys once I figure out what the issue is here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and modified the clip just to be a bit shorter. Um, hopefully this works this time anyway, because the, the old one was just a bit too long, so. Okay, moment of truth. One side in. That is fucking not acceptable. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, try and get this to fit properly. Okay guys, so I've touched the clip a bit more. Hopefully this should just fall in now. I've got the other side in, luckily, but <laughs> I tell you now, these things are not coming back out. Oh, come on. The other one went straight in, so I don't see why this one. such a pain this one <sighs> okay guys so after just trying to be gentle but then also trying to apply a lot of force I finally got them in but, yeah let me know what you guys think of them because I'm not I'm not 100% convinced but let me know what you guys think do you think they look cheap or do you think they look acceptable <laughs> i'll go ahead and put the hazards on and show you guys what they look like when the lights are on <sighs> yeah so they're still very 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 visible and Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments uh, below. What you guys think of them. I'll go ahead and put them in the description anyway, if you guys are interested in buying them. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna rock them anyway. Like, I don't see why. 
Why not? So these are the old ones. I'm gonna keep these anyway as spare. And then in the future, I could always try and change them back. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to get the diff out of the subframe and uh, go from there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.